Welcome back to Waz a Day. Where Waz today is Dung Beetles. A 1982 release uh, from Datasoft and Bob Bishop. Here running on the Apple II and MAME. Uh, also ported to uh, the Atari 8 bit, the NEC PC 6001, and the uh, TRS 80 color computer. Uh, the the color computer version was named Megabug, and then some later versions uh, for Apple II and Atari were changed to being called Tumblebugs, and they changed the name again to Magneto Bugs. It was also sold in Australia as Bug Attack. Let's get into it here. Got Game of Joy mapped for joystick support and MAME. But yeah, it's kind of a twist on uh, Pac Man. You've got completely randomly generated levels. You need to get all these dots. And you're uh, under a magnifying glass here to enlarge the maze, uh, which I find a little bit, a little bit confusing sometimes. Um, you're also leaving behind a trail of dung as you uh, as you eat the dots. Which the uh, the dung beetles can find and use to chase you down and kill you. Uh, yeah, so you gotta watch out for that. But the goal is to get all these white dots. Uh, they got they got me. All right, we can try again. I think we we just get one life here. Generates a new maze for us. So if you ever wanted an extremely large Pac-Man playfield, uh, and you thought you thought the regular Pac-Man playfield was just just too small and not random enough, this is the game for you. Yeah, so they will follow the path until there's a split, and they'll take a random path. Up, oh. they got me on that one. Because because the magnifying glass kind of obscures part of the playfield as well, it makes it a little bit difficult. Oh man, they're gonna be they're gonna be after me. Maybe there's some, you know, better strategies you can use than what I'm doing, which is just kind of, just kind of going for it. I guess you leave dung behind all the time, not just when you're eating. Good to know. Okay. I would assume it also just loops when you if you if you ever actually beat an entire level on this. Good, uh, good voice sample there. But yeah, I'm not sure if we're gonna see me actually beat a level here. There's also no kind of like power pills, so if you get into something like this, well. They got you. Well, 
Well, that was unfortunate. I don't know about you, but for me, just the uh, I'm, I'm usually focused on the magnified area, and it's hard to relate that to the overall map and get a sense for like, oh, there's an enemy that I need to be worried about because I feel like the magnified area is, you know, blocking part of that. So anyway, I think that's kind of the goal here is to add that challenge, and you got to deal with it, you know. So. It's just not not particularly uh, compelling for me. There, I'm not sure, you know, what's what strategy should I have used there instead? But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure, you know, what else there is that I can show you about this without somehow becoming extremely good at it so that I can show you what it looks like when you actually beat a level. Dead end. I feel like the uh, the numerous dead ends in the random level generation also kind of make this more difficult. Oh wow, we lucked out there. Okay. Yeah, it's very easy to get into a situation where you're leading them back to you, and you're in a dead end. Uh, just like this. Yep. So I think that's going to do it uh, here for us with Dung Beetles on Waza Day. And I'll see you tomorrow for our next Waza Day.